Hey guys, it's Mitch here, and today I'm excited to share with you some new features and products from Haltech for your UC10 dash. This feature is one that you'll find in pretty much every modern car, but now anyone with a UC10 dash in their modified hot rod, import, classic, or domestic can enjoy backup camera capabilities. Even better, you don't need to worry about trying to find a compatible camera as we're also making available our backup camera kit. The camera kit includes everything you need to get the camera mounted and wired up to your UC10 dash. Even better, you only need a single wire spliced into your vehicle's harness to get it up and running. In the camera kit, you're gonna find our reverse camera, which has our power and video connections. Also is the harness. So this is pre-pinned to go directly into the back of your UC10 dash. And then our single wire connection that we're gonna tap into our reverse camera power signal at the rear of the car. And then our two connections into the camera itself. Also included is a mounting bracket, which we've actually already fitted to the back of this VL Commodore. You'll also find a quick start guide, which is gonna show you exactly what needs to go and where. So we're gonna fit the bracket up to the rear number plate mounts on this car, and then we're gonna fit the camera to the mounting bracket and then feed the wires through into the rear section of the car. Okay, now that we've got the camera mounted and the wires fed into the trunk area of the car, we're simply gonna plug the camera in and then find this white wire in the loom that comes with the camera kit. So this white wire is gonna take the 12 volt signal from the reverse lights and send that up to the UC10 dash so the dash knows when we're in reverse. Now, if your dash already knows that you're in reverse, maybe you have a gear selector position or a gear position sensor in your transmission, you won't need to run this wire and everything can just be run straight to the dash. So for this specific install, I've found my reverse light bulb. I'm just double checking which wire is my reverse light power wire. And I'm gonna connect my white wire up to that wire. I've got everything in the back of the car all mounted and wired. So now I just need to feed the dash end of the harness through to the UC10. I'm gonna do that through the interior of the car. All right, I've pulled my camera harness through the interior of the car and I've also taken out my UC10 dash connector. So this is the CAN cable that would be going to the ECU and this is the plug out of the back of the UC10. So I'm just gonna look at my quick start guide and I'm gonna follow the instructions on which pin goes where. My white wire for my reverse trigger, I'm gonna put that into AVI4 on this specific dash. All right, all my wires are run. Let's get this plugged back into the back of the UC10 and then we'll jump in the NSP software and we'll set it all up. Okay, so we've got everything wired up and installed in the car. So now we need to go through the software side of things to get the UC10 working with our reverse camera. So the first thing we need to do is open up Haltech NSP software. This is what we're gonna to use to configure the UC10 dash and update it. So first we need to check for updates. So we do that by clicking the check for updates button in the toolbar. This is gonna to contact the Haltech servers and check for any available updates. And what we should hopefully get if we haven't got it already is the available software update. All right, great. So NSP has found the available update and it's told us that updates to the Nexus software have been applied. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click OK on this prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my USB cable from my UC10 dash into my laptop. Make sure that my UC10 is powered on. So NSP detects the dash and connects to it automatically. So this dash currently has an existing firmware version on it, which is 2.28. Now to get our reverse camera functionality activated and working, we need to firmware update this dash. So you can see that the update button has just illuminated green, indicating to us that this uh, dash has an update available for it. So we're gonna click on the firmware update button and it's prompted us to update from our 2.28 to 2.29. 
and in 2.29 you can see the release notes here state that we've added our camera input for the UC10. So we'll click upgrade firmware now and we'll let that process roll through. Okay, so our firmware update is completed, our dash is rebooted, so we can jump into the functions section of the navigator tree here. You can see we have our new camera input function here which we can enable, so we'll enable that. We'll go to the camera input function in the uh, navigation tree here. This is where we're going to find our uh, triggering conditions and our camera configuration settings here. Now, because we're using the UC10 dash to directly power the camera, and we're using that reverse light power trigger, which we've wired into an available input on this dash, and we're gonna use these settings to tell the dash exactly how we want it to activate the power to the camera and receive our reverse signal. So as I mentioned before, if you already have a reverse signal into the dash, maybe from a selector position or a gear position sensor wired into your ECU, the dash is already going to receive that message and you can use the in reverse option here. If you don't have that and you've wired the reverse light signal into one of the available inputs on the dash, like we have in this vehicle, we're gonna use our input switch option. Now that we've enabled that option, we need to tell the dash which input we've wired that signal into. So we're gonna to go to the wiring section here and we're gonna assign the input for our camera trigger. So in this particular instance, we wired it into AVI4 because that was one of the available inputs that we had. Any available input will work for you. So we're gonna choose AVI4, choose OK. And we need to set our on and off voltages for this input. AVIs can only read up to five volts. So when we put our gear position into reverse and we receive that voltage trigger in, it's only gonna show us five volts, even though it is receiving the full 12 volts from the reverse light signal. So we'll set those up, four for on, one for off, make sure that it reads correctly. And we've uh, configured that back to the camera input function. So here are our options for our camera configuration. So we have a camera power option, and this is gonna let us choose when the UC10 dash powers the camera. We have that as always on or only when the camera is active. I'm gonna choose only when the camera is active. We have image rotation and mirroring options here. So if your particular camera installation has required you to mount the camera at an angle, upside down, sideways, we have rotation options here and then mirroring. So if your specific camera or the way that you want to look at the image on the screen needs to be needs to be flipped horizontally or vertically, you have options here also. Okay, now that that's all configured and set up, that's pretty much all we need to do. We'll give the dash a reboot to make sure all of those changes are applied into the dash. And when we pop this thing into reverse, we should get our camera feed up on our dash. So you can see we have the reversing guidelines on the camera. We've cut the loop of wire as it's shown in the quick start guide to display those on the camera feed. So it's as easy as that. In the space of half an hour, we've had the camera kit installed, wired and configured in the UC10 dash, and we're all good to go. If you're interested in adding this functionality to your UC10, the update and camera kit is available now.